As we are connecting with people, we begin to connect more and more with Allah. When you know Allah and you love Allah, anything that Allah loves is beloved to you. Anything that Allah made, you will be kind and respectful even if you disagree. Why do I say disagree? Sometimes we hate certain things. We hate, what do we hate? We hate sins. We hate kufr, those who perhaps blaspheme against Allah and his messenger. We hate the deed. As for the person, there are stages. In the early stage, we will still try with the person. We still continue. You made a mistake. You made a sin. Look, if you had to hate everyone who sinned, you would have to hate yourself. You follow what I'm saying? If you had to hate everyone who sinned, you have to start off by hating yourself. Look in the mirror and say, I hate you. Why? You committed a sin. That itself shows you that initial teaching of Islam is that you hate the sin. As for the sinner, they fall into many categories. The initial category, you cannot just hate the sinner. In the initial category, you correct them, you guide them, they will come and so on. Sometimes they are sinful and you know, they are passive sinners. The only time that changes is when they become promoters of the sin. They are harming you. They are oppressing you. They want to remove you from the goodness you have and take you to the sin they are committing. Then you say, you know what? I hate this guy. Subhanallah. It's a bit heavy. It's a bit strong. But that is the final ut utmost level. I'm going to stay away. But I still pray for them. And I will still continue to have hope for them. But there comes a level where Say for example, a man, may Allah forgive us, I'm going to give you a real example. A man who killed your child or who killed a family member of yours. You can't say, I love you, my brother, but I hate what you did. Oh, come on. You are a human. You also have feelings. You love me. Okay, let me kill someone else. You might love me more. Huh? No chance. You have the right to say, I hate this man. He killed my child. Don't you have a right to say that? You have a right. So if someone is killing your deen completely, you have the same right. But go easy, go easy. Why? Allah says, عَسَى اللَّهُ أَن يَجْعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ عَادَيْتُمْ مِنْهُمْ مَوَدَّهُ وَاللَّهُ قَدِيرٌ Allah is all able and capable to create love between you and those whom you have been fighting. Those whom you dislike, those whom you hate, Allah can create love between you and them. How many times you have people who hate each other for some reason, their children or their grandchildren begin to marry, intermarry. And then what happens? You forget about everything. May Allah Almighty help us.